Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Rohan Khandelwal, your marrow surgery faculty. And it's my absolute pleasure to introduce Dr. Simran to all of you who secured a score of 244 in the recently concluded FMG exam. And despite all the difficulties of being in Ukraine, studying there, uh, despite all the turmoil there, she secured this great score. So heartiest congratulations, uh, Dr. Simran. All of us are extremely proud of you. Thank you so much. That means a lot coming from you. So Dr. Simran, please uh, tell me about uh, your journey. I mean, you were in Ukraine. There were troubled times there. Um, you were using marrow as your preparatory source. So please run us through the journey of how things have been in the last few years. Yes, sir. The situation was completely changed when the war situation arrived. So mm -hmm. basically in the last, firstly, there was online. First, mm -hmm. that was the issue. Then secondly, COVID. Then the war situation. So there was completely chaos in head, firstly. How to go about, how to study, or when to study, what to study. Then I joined Marrow as my prime source. I took plan C when I was in third year. And mm -hmm. uh, I saw all the videos of the app, complete videos, mm -hmm. solved all the Q banks, and gave GTs regularly. I mean, I started giving GTs when I was in third year itself. I, my score was not that good, but then uh, my, for me, the score didn't matter at that point of time. My prime aim was to continue giving the MCQs to get a gist of how the MCQs occur in the examinations and just to get a hold okay, what type of MCQ, what topic comes from what subject. That was the prime aim. Yes. So what was your daily schedule like? How did you plan out your studies? The first thing that we were bounded in the hostel itself because we were not allowed to go out because of the COVID war. Mm -hmm. And there was no interactions because every time mask on and then there was nothing to do. I mean, any playful activity. We were not able to go out, no uh, any outgoing. Uh, everything was at halt. But then though I, I thought, why not utilize this time? Why not put this time into use? So I just took marrow and then I started my preparation and I completed subjects accordingly. If I took one subject at a time, for example, I took Dermat. So I completed a Dermat one topic and then I took the respective book, the Indian author book. I didn't have it in hard copy, so I downloaded the PDF and I studied from there. So that I complete one chapter or one topic or one subject as a whole. And then I created my own notes. So basically, you converted uh, an adverse situation into an opportunity for yourself and you utilize that time to finish yes. your course. I'm sure it's easier said than done. It must have been a nightmarish situation for all of you there. And hats yes. off to you to be, uh, you know, so focused that you were studying at that time. Yes. So Dr. Simran, were you using the printed notes or were you making notes of your own? I was making notes of mine. That's great. So I always feel that if you make notes of your own, if you have time, you are able to recollect them um, in a, for a longer period of time. It helps in development of long term memory. Would you agree with absolutely. that? Yes, absolutely. Sir. Because you put your own efforts, you put your own time, your hard work. So you, remember, you recall more of it. And over the course of the next three years before you appear for the FNG exam, how many times did you revise these notes? It was an ingoing process because my last notes I revised three times before in this last four months, I revised my notes three times itself. So it took me three That's years great. to complete my notes and to make it full uh, 180 degree full complete round circle so that in the last three months or four months, whatever I have for my FNG, I if only I should have that confidence that my notes itself will make me go through this examination. That's great. So, I mean, if you make comprehensive notes, they would be your only source of preparation. And that's what you did. So you weren't confused. Yes. You knew what to do in the last four months then. Yes, absolutely. Great. So during this journey, I'm sure a lot of uh, mentors, faculties would have, uh, you know, uh, helped you during your journey. So any mm -hmm. particular faculty member from Marrow whom you would like to mention? There are particularly two of them. Of course, number one has to be you. I mean, the first name that comes <laughs> after Marrow, I mean, hearing the word Marrow is equal to Dr. Ruan Khandelwal for me. Oh, and it's I my absolute, so it's a team like, effort, absolute, honor, but... absolute honor to, to have a talk to you. And and then Dr. Sakshi Ma'am. I mean, Sakshi Ma'am has been the end, the light at the end of the tunnel for every FMG student. I take this opportunity Absolutely. to specially thank Dr. Sakshi Ma'am 
because she has been there for FMG students through thick and thin. So this is an absolute, absolute. honor. And I take the opportunity to take a thank you to her, a special, a special thank you to her. If she's listening, my no, no, absolutely. Ma'am has always championed the cause of FMG yes. students and she's yes. always supported them. So, so hats off to her uh, efforts. Yes, yes. Great. And so coming to the Q Bank, pardon me, you were saying something. Yes, I was talking about you. So, so I would like to say one thing. If you say that this sentence is important, then that thing that your voice is is like a hallucination. It keeps on rotate, rotating in my mind. Okay, this is important. This, you have to study this. And you have to mark this, that this is important. Dr. Ruhan sir has said, period. There is nothing else to be discussed. Okay. You have to mark this. You have to remember this. You are that That's important, great. sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Great. Coming to the Q Bank now. So now, usually what we've seen is that FMG uh, students in their university also, they ask MCQ exams. So yes. like you said, you were using the Q Bank simultaneously. Was this the NEET PG Q Bank or the FMG Q Bank? NEET PG Q Bank. Yeah. So I think so that has been a major difference. And yesterday I was interacting with another student who got 244. And I was telling him the same thing that over the last six, seven years, what I've seen is that the the level of preparation of FMG has gone up. And even yes. though the exam has become difficult, but the scores have skyrocketed, right? Mm. Nine, 10 years back, 11 years back, we used to see 170, 180 being the highest score. But now it is 244, 246. So that clearly means that you people are putting in so much more effort. And the fact that you are doing the NEET PG Q Bank and preparing yourself for a tougher exam, that makes sure that you score very well and you're better prepared once you've done your FMG to crack PG as well. Yes. And so the need great. Uh, marrow commands are absolutely great, sir. Absolutely great. Means they they pick out your subtle mistakes and then you rectify yourself. And that, that has been a major source in me uh, polishing my abilities to study. That's great. And uh, were you uh, participating in the marathons which were being conducted by marrow? Um, I'm sorry, I, I didn't. No, I didn't. Because I because right. because of my uh, study schedule and the uh, university schedule, I was not able to do that. So you were anyways so regular that you didn't require that push of uh, solving QBanks every day. That's kind that of is great. That's, kind of <laughs> That's great. So uh, did you appear for all the subject-wise tests and the FMG tests which were conducted yes, by sir, the team? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. That and was, what was your was... score in the mock test which was conducted before the exam? Uh, there were two papers. So I got uh, 136 in paper one and like 131 in paper two. Wow. Outstanding. So, I mean, you were expecting this score when you appeared for the exam. Yes, sir. My, my, my aim was 250 plus. So, yeah. Nice. That's great. I mean, that's Thanks. the confidence which one should have while going for the exam. So that that's amazing. And that clearly reflects from the fact that uh, you were very well prepared. And, you know, you had revised your notes so many times. If somebody revises their notes three times, solves the Q-Bank, I think so they're done for any exam. So yes. um, hats off to your effort there. Um, Dr. Simran, tell us more when you came back to India, what was your preparation for the last six months leading up to the exam? Uh, so honestly speaking, we didn't even get six months for the examination because our graduation oh. happened in February 2024. So we mm -hmm. came by March and then after okay. that, after coming to India, uh, one, two weeks went by, I mean, just flew in by after coming to India, meeting relatives and all. Then after that, the preparation started. So it was in, in April, April ending where I actually started my preparation. So after that, counting and then uh, doing the PYQs, doing the MCQs, the GTs and revising my notes. So this whole thing was from April till July. That's great. How's the feeling at home? I mean, parents must be thrilled to have you home finally, safe in India. Yes, sir, yes. Sir. My mom is absolutely enthralled. She's she's dumping since yesterday night. <laughs> That's great. I'm sure. And what are the future plans? So future plans to do PG firstly, and of course in surgery, sir. That's great. So I yeah. interviewed two people. I Both of them want to be surgeons. So happy. <laughs> That's great. Thank you, sir. And your blessings. Uh, yeah. So, Dr. Simran, a hypothetical question for you. Supposing, you know, there is a student who has one year left. They're in final year in FMG 
and they haven't prepared much so they have their final year and a few months after that before the fmj exam how yeah. should they go about preparing pyqs is a must doing all the pyqs from the last 15 years minimum 15 years i did 15 years so that That's is great. is a must Or would you still say that if they have a year and a half before the exam, they should do the major clinical subjects from the main video so that they develop concepts? Major clinical subjects are a must from the main videos. They are a must because in clinical subjects you can't uh, rectify things. We have to actually understand the concept of it. So it's better if you do the main videos for clinical subjects like medicine, surgery, gynae. These three are the most important clinical subjects. So it's better if we see the main videos. That's great, uh, Doctor Sivan. Two last questions before we wind up this interview. One is, how did you keep yourself motivated? What was your source of motivation or discipline during this very tough period of the last two three years leading up to the exam? But to be very honest, sir, my mom's dedication to my uh, graduation was the main reason that I have to keep going. I have to make her feel proud. I have to make see her eyes shine when she looks at me. That was the main motivation to me. I had to keep studying. That's so sweet. Yeah, that's that's amazing. And uh, hats off to her. Please, uh, you know, congratulate her from our side as well. And uh, the next thing which I want to know is that you know a lot of effort goes in making an app. You know, we are the faces. We are the ones who are teaching. But there's so many people in the background who are working as well. So, what were the best features regarding the Maro app which you like? And any message to the developers, the tech guys? Uh, the marketing mm -hmm. people which you would like to give so the firstly the response team i mean maro response the, the tagline should be the maro response because i have seen other apps they don't respond if you email them the response comes very late in fact it never comes sometimes but maro maro team responds to your emails and if there is any issue with the other app working or there is any glitch in the app the maro team guides us you what know, what should be done to you know circumvent that uh, glitch That is a hats off to the team, and also if you report any uh, doubt in the answer, that response is also there. So that is one thing which has to be said, has to be mentioned. That's great. I'm I'm sure the team would be thrilled to listen to that. And it was a pleasure talking to you. Any parting Thank comments you. from your side before we end this interview? It is an absolute honor to talk to you, sir. Absolute honor. Like I wish to meet like you one day. I'll come to Delhi specifically just to meet you, sir. Hundred percent. And once you become a surgeon, I'll definitely assist you in a case. Oh, thank you so much <laughs> for saying that. Thank you All so right. much. Sir. Pleasure talking to you, Dr. Simran. All the very best for the future. Thank you so much. Sir.